hey, what's up? It's me, Andy. And I'm reacting to all sorts of stuff that we didn't get to react to on Kind of Funny. So let me just click through some stuff and hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, click like, subscribe, leave a comment for the algorithm. Here we go. This is the Hyperlight Breaker trailer. Something I'm very, very excited for as a huge fan of Hyperlight Drifter. Let's get into it. The Drowned City. Acid Mire. Jeweled Spire. They're rhyming. I don't know if they're on purpose or not. Probably not. Chattered Fortress. Oh! -ho! Hoverboarding through the world. Whoa! Oh my, oh, 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 oh. Oh. What? Hold on, hold on. I gotta like, I gotta move my camera and stuff. All right, run that back. Cause we're getting a good look at the environments, which I know are on a constant day and night cycle and change and the vibes are always kind of like, uh, altering at different points of the game. But homie, that, Oh my god, that dude, this delayed. This delayed, like, dash is just so badass. That is so sick. Just so long. Woo! Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. That's crazy. <laughs> that is ridiculous. The gunfire, the feedback of hitting those shots. Bad ass, dude. And we're going to be playing it soon. Right? They announced it. I mean, it's we're getting closer and closer to having this open beta. Which was already supposed to... But it's already been delayed, right? So we were supposed to have been playing the open beta, I guess, a couple of months ago. We're getting closer and closer. This is very, very exciting. Very exciting. Here's Alex Preston talking about it. Hello, I'm Alex, creative director at Heart Machine, and we're making Hyperlight Breaker. The squares, little, the squares popping off as those shots hit are so badass. 
Hyperlight Breaker is a huge, stylish, bloody game. As is our MO, it's a game that's vivid but bleak, with a crumbling world that can be brutal and beautiful all at once. It's a major landmark for us, and the first of its kind, an open world game where you never return to the same world twice. You could say it's a mix of incredible open world games like Breath of the Wild, distilled into the format of a roguelike such as Dead Cells or Hades. You can play alone or with friends cooperatively online. Breaker's narrative will be presented fully through visual storytelling, where you'll discover and decipher the mystery of this world and lost land from long ago. Every world will be Ooh. different, loaded with dangerous creatures, razor-sharp combat, vast overgrown wilderness, long-dead civilizations, and new discoveries in a mysterious, vibrant, yet horribly ominous atmosphere. Each biome in the world is different, with unique dangers, set pieces, and stories of their own. There will be massive bosses to take down in an open structure with dangerous, unique, and challenging sub-bosses scattered throughout runs. You'll pick up new gear, make new builds, unlock new characters, I'm so giddy and right upgrade now. your equipment as you bring back more and more materials from runs. We've learned so much from our previous games, building up amazing tech, and a deep well of knowledge and experience as a team. Breaker's the culmination of all that incredible work, and we're excited to have you experience it for yourself. We'll have a lot more information on the game as we come closer and closer to early access later this year. Yes! Give it to me, dude. Give it to me. So it's between melee and gunplay is so slick, dude. I'm telling you, man, Hyperlight Drifter, bro. It's top down, so it's not 3D, but man, going into an arena and just shaka, boom, shotgun, boom, shotgun, dash, dash, slash, slash. Oh, so sick. So sick. Here we go. This game's called Instinction. Early access announcement teaser trailer from the future game show. I don't know what the hell this is. Dinos. Looks like shit. <laughs> oh my gosh, the frame rate. Oh, the motion blur. That looks cool. But everything else just looks like mega unoptimized and none of this is going to run well. This looks cool. <laughs> That's how they make. That's the noise they make. Yeah, that's going to be no from me, dog. I've seen enough of these games To know, I mean, first off, what's happening with the font here? What are we doing right here in this spec in this section in particular? <laughs> what are we what are we doing here? I've just seen enough of these games to know, bro, like I've I've fooled me once with a lot of this shit. But like, what is this right here, gamers? The gap in between these words odd. This is the same font as this, but it's squished. It's 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 squishier. And then this pops in. This fucking font jump scares you out of nowhere. <laughs> this this font pops out from behind the wall, stabs you in your kidney, you know, like what is going on here right now? And then what? Like here, here's another one. What's going on here? Is this the same font? Is that looks like these are uh, impact font. We got impact right here. I guess this is impact too, but it's like squishier and italicized. A lot of stuff happening right here, homie. A lot of stuff happening. We're going to have to not squish up this right here because this is squishy. You're, you're, you're squishing that in because maybe you like the way it looked skinnier. Not the way you want to do it, bro. Not the way you want to do it. I'm available for consultation. 300 bucks an hour. 
Okay, this game's called Nocturnal. So it's from the Gorilla Collective. I guess it starts off with like an animated thing and they get into gameplay. We'll see how it looks. Don't know what it is though. Just kind of look cool as I was scrolling on YouTube. I had immediately gotten Hades vibes when I saw the thumbnail. Ooh, whoa, what was that? Boss designs are pretty sick. Nocturnal available now. Pretty cool. Available now. Yeah, I love I love like difficult boss mechanics. Making you avoid all sorts of weird ass projectiles. Cool. P Damn, not even PS4, homie? That's that's wild. But it's on Switch. <laughs> Interesting. I want to show you a game that everybody there at SGF was absolutely in love with. It was a part of the Day of the Dev Showcase, and every time I talked to somebody, they were talking about this little indie game. This game is called Cocoon. And anybody who was previewing stuff was like, dude, you got to check out Cocoon. It's cool as hell. It's like a top-down puzzle game. People really liked it. Yeah, Inside and Limbo devs. I don't know if it's like the exact same team. I think it's just like former Inside and Limbo devs. Cocoon is an adventure game with multiple worlds, and each of these worlds are contained within an orb. I had not seen it before, but this is on the Day of the Devs thing. We demonstrate by jumping out of the world which we are currently exploring. Whoa! Just like that, we are now in a world outside. The orange orb here contains the world we were previously exploring. That's crazy. The world in the palm of your hands. This Suit around the world. One more time. We are now in a world even further outside. Whoa! And can explore this world using the orange orb that we picked up. Orbs can be placed on switches to power devices and solve puzzles. I'd be so and lost you playing can this. Even throw them into pipes. Bonermonger.com still links to me. You're sure right. You are absolutely right. You can use the hierarchy of worlds within worlds to solve interesting puzzles. 
For example, to safely avoid this moving barrier, you simply jump out of the world, let it pass by, what the f and jump back in. With the power of PS5 and the solid state drive, there's no loading anywhere. Now, Cocoon is not only about exploration and puzzles. Within each world, you have to face a mighty guardian. Here is the first glimpse of one of these encounters. <laughs> what the hell is going cool? Getting so many death's door vibes. Are we trying to get you to hit the red thing or what? I mean, maybe if you gave me a goddamn sniper rifle, right? I'd be bad, bad, just knocking all these dudes out of the air. Destroying the boss immediately. We hope you look forward to exploring the mysterious worlds of Cocoon, releasing later this year on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Cool. You did miss the ending of Liza P demo. Lords of the Fallen, not to be confused with the Lords of the Fallen, has very creepy art, and I'm going to get very scared by it. Let's check it out. Ew, like that, just that. Of Hexworks, welcome to the Lords of the Fallen gameplay showcase. Today, we're taking a closer look at our all-new dark fantasy action RPG, arriving this October on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. Spiritual successor to the original 2014 good, release, it acts as a full reboot for the franchise, taking place in a vast, interconnected world whoa. over a thousand years later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we'll, we'll go back to it. Featuring colossal boss battles, fast, challenging combat, and deep, immersive storytelling, players will journey across two parallel realms oh, in this expansive RPG That's experience. right. The world of the living, Axiom, and the world of the dead, Umbral, with each featuring its own unique pathways, characters, enemies, and, of course, treasures. And while Axiom Treasure presents on. its own challenges, untold horrors await in its nightmarish counterpart thanks to the umbral lamp it's gonna be too scary players bro players can enter this lightless world at any time in one of two ways when slain by the foes of axiom at which point you'll resurrect in the same location albeit in umbral or by performing the umbral rift and willingly sacrificing one of your two lives but the lamp holds yet more power, granting the ability to flay the soul from an enemy for some high damage attacks, and even manipulate the very environment of the umbral world. However, the longer you spend in this wraith-ridden plane... Motherfucker's just got a cowboy hat, dude. This dude just got a cowboy hat. ...greater number of spectral terrors that will hunt you down. Yeah, that's scary. But as harrowing as the Hellions of Umbral are, they pale in comparison to the game's brutal boss battles. Yeah, man. Towering Yo, what up, Danielle Z? The ever burning city of Kalrath, this gargantuan monstrosity doesn't take kindly to would be adventurers. This dude has a silly looking face. You just got, you got a little, you got a freaking Attack on Titan silly looking face right here, brother. This gargantuan monstrosity doesn't. Look at you. You look. Oh my god, bro. Hold up. Hold up.
You you look like the Koopas from the Mario the first Super Mario Bros movie. You look like one of the Koopas from the John Leguizamo Mario movie. That's crazy. Doesn't take kindly to would-be adventurers. The demonic presence yeah. within, ready to devour any and all within sight. A merciless torturer, prepared to carry out any atrocity in the name of his faith. Tancred, master of castigations, is the devout chaplain of the hallowed sentinels. Though beneath the pious veil, his very own flesh conceals a truth most foul. Oh my god! Ah! Jesus! When Harrower Dervla ventured into the deepest depths of this world to thwart the undead Damn, rising, Melania, dude. what she discovered was so utterly horrific. Oh shit! Oh, her. mommy's real tall, y'all. And the frame rate looking real rough in this section right here. But mommy's looking tall, dude. So utterly horrific that she renounced her former life and commitment to a far darker Ooh. oath. Pre-order Lords of the Fallen now and prepare to unleash the darkness on Friday the 13th of October. Oh, oh. oh my God, dude. There's so many things out in October that we've been talking about. Man, oh my God. There's so many cool things coming out later on. This year is so stacked. This year is stacked, homie. What the hell? Let's close out the show with Baby Steps, which had everybody chatting on the internet. We weren't available to Nate. watch it at the time, though. Nate! Nate! Nate, buddy! Family meeting! Let's go! Are you bringing him food again? I not right now. About this. Not right now. You that sounded like Jason Bateman. You just want to throw him out on the street? No, I'm not, I, he's 35. I want him to have some kind of discipline. Yeah. Nate, if you can hear my voice, I want you to come up here and we're having a family meeting. He was watching One Piece chat. Oh, ape out. I didn't realize that. Oh, and getting over it. Oh, dang. Be such a rage game, dude. Such a streamer rage game, Dylan. Bonfire? Oh, can you not? I, uh, d uh it's just I uh, didn't. Yeah, let's go back in time to when you didn't. No, I, I was just trying to k catch it. With my, uh, sorry, with your was using my, yeah, you tried to catch it. I saw it was starting to go, and I just tried <laughs> you to. You just kick. You thought I'll give it a good kick no. to counteract the ball. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to steady it. I might have over. Yeah, you might. You I, might I, have. I yeah, over. You might have. You might have over steadied yeah, it. No, it's just a little over steadied. Well, it's not steady now. No. I, well. See you later. So, uh. Wanker. Yeah. This reminds me of Xavier uh, Renegade Angel. That's going to be a fun stream game that'll make people rage. And I'm sure we'll have a challenge stream where we try to get as far as we can. Thanks for watching this react segment, everybody. If you enjoyed it, if you want to see more, let me know. Maybe leave some recommendations as to what I should be watching and what I should be reacting to trailer wise for stuff that you know I'd be into. Uh, or if just maybe it's just stuff that you think that I missed that. Hey, you got to check this out. This may not be your genre, but check it out anyway. Let me know in the comments down below. Click like, subscribe, and comment, everybody. And we'll see you next time, gamers.